for sure will need more time. We have some fine tunings to be done. Because it does matter in Dakar if a small or big thing goes wrong, you will pay the price no matter what. For Audi, the upcoming Dakar rally means entering a new field in motorsport. And the thing with new projects is that there is no blueprint. The first year of, of the Dakar, with at least my experience with a new car, it's always very difficult, very challenging, coming surprise after surprise after surprise. So the most difficult year, always the first one. We started with a test in Germany. The test track was comparably short, but we could already see that the car and the concept generally worked, which was the key point of this initial test. Next was the test in Zaragoza, with a longer track that had many more technical elements and for the first time proper jumps. Then on to our test in Morocco, and Morocco shows you everything. Coming here, obviously, it's, it's a great challenge for the car because we face new problems that we didn't find in Europe. But, uh, you know, this is why we are coming here and, and this is where we need to learn what to do to solve these problems. This test was crucial to ensure that the new rally car, the Audi RSQ e-tron, can function at extreme conditions. We had a real down on day two, uh, when there was nearly no driving. It is the most accurate representation in terms of both, climate and terrain. It's a different track, it's more sandy, more dust, but also the temperature is really high. My first day was a bit of a challenge. I didn't drive as much as I wished, but as the concept is super high tech, I think this is just to calibrate everything. In general, the drivers are already happy. The car behaves well, and after seeing it in the dunes and in true desert conditions, I believe that we are going in the right direction. Till at the moment we are in a phase that we are developing a lot. We are receiving parts from Neuburg and we want to test it as soon as possible. Sometimes it means that we need to disassemble half of the car, build it up again and then get ready for the next day of testing. Manpower-wise, it's definitely the hardest project because you've got so many different jobs to do. So here everything is new and that makes it super complicated. The amount of people you have to kind of orchestrate are much more than you have normally on a test like this, but this is due to the complexity of the car. It's a hybrid system, so we need to change a little bit our reference, so we need to learn, but also we need to improve all the technology. The most important thing is to collect mileage. Mileage, mileage, mileage. Every day, the drivers can't be out on the track is a setback but we are learning and adapting as we go. If you would have asked me three days ago, I would have said really bad. Now I'm already feeling better. You know that there's always something coming up which you don't expect. Innovation takes time and we look forward to getting it done. Until the day we are on the darker starting line, we will keep pushing to present what we think is the next step into the future of motorsport.